welcome back to the rudder and welcome aboard Antoinette. We're going to go through the top three modifications we've done to our Mary Fisher 895. Modification number one is just out the back and is our tender rack. So our tender rack, uh, the big duck tender is out, out there, we've been uh, mucking around today. But this tender rack really does save us a lot of energy and strife trying to deal with our tender. Uh, we did have it up on the bow, which really cut off a lot of vision. We did try putting it on the roof, as a lot of people had suggested that. We didn't have roof racks, but um, we also know that it's quite heavy, quite difficult to get up there, and there is the chance of putting some little scratches in the tent on the sunroof, so definitely want to avoid that. So we went ahead and ordered this. This is a fabrication from Shine Stainless. Uh, check out the video to have a look at how we put this in, but the tender rack certainly is, um, it's really saved us and have a look at how easy it is to take the tender up. For modification number two, we're going up to the roof. Modification number two is what we've done for power while staying at anchor. So big part of that is our solar panel. This is a 175 watt solar panel that I put in another video, you can check that out. And it's giving power down to our battery, which is a new 330 amp hour AGM battery. So we replaced the one that came from factory. So this and the battery really allow us to stay out of anchor for more days than just what we had when we started off. Usually by the end of a nice sunny day like today, this panel will give us enough power to recharge the battery back to full and then we can start again. So really to complement the solar, once again, of course, down here in the lazarette, but to complement the solar, it really needs the battery. There's no use having solar unless you've got a good battery to uh, put that power into, and we have a monster. This is a 330 amp hour battery. It is our house battery. Um, it's connected into the Victron battery monitor as we've showed before. So that's the shunt there. So this is probably part of that modification is to have this battery here to take in the power from the solar. Uh, it's a monster, it weighs 87 kilos. Getting it in here was not an easy task, but it's in there now and it does a fantastic job. The last modification that has really uh, helped our time out on the water, we usually have to wait until sundowners, and it's certainly uh, sundowners time now, is to put the mesh around uh, the cockpit here. We are in quite a mangrovey area area to, tonight, um, so there probably will be some mozzies around. There's a bit of wind blowing, so there shouldn't be too many. But we have this mesh built up. So this mesh is 90% UV resistant. It also means that midges can't get through it. So I'll put it up and you can have a look at what it looks like. It does in completely encapsulate the cockpit, so you can sit out here and it's an in-out area, straight from in the galley and the dining area, straight out to the cockpit, and it really does change the mood of the boat. All right, so I'll put them up, and well, let's have a look at what it looks like.
things up. In just a few minutes we have the screens up. I'm completely safe from mozzies and midges, which is a big concern, especially where we're anchored tonight. And in Queensland, it really is something that can ruin your evening if some mozzies get in and uh, they get into there, then they're down in your bunk and buzzing you all night. So with these up, it really makes an in-out space between the galley and the dining space out to the cockpit. It also takes a bit out of the wind so if it is a bit breezy, you can sit back here and not get so blustery. And as well as that, especially on a day like today with the western sun setting, you have a very strong bounce off the water happening here. And these 90% UV blockouts do really come into their own. So they're the top three modifications we've made on Antoinette, our Mary Fisher 895. I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Otherwise, we hope to see you again on Antoinette and subscribe soon. Just as a little bonus, um, this is footage from later that evening, from that beautiful afternoon we had. The wind swung around to the south and got up to about 25 knots, fairly unexpectedly. Um, it wasn't treacherous, but it certainly wasn't very comfortable in that anchorage, so we decided to drive home at around midnight. Not the best fun, but we got home safe and sound. Uh, we do love the strength of the Mary Fisher, it was nice and dry. Okay, talk to you next time.